this question, we've got a particle which is held in equilibrium by three forces. C, um, sorry, X newtons which is acting horizontally, 8 newtons which is acting uh, vertically downwards, and 12 newtons which is acting at an angle uh, of theta from the positive X. So, firstly, I'm going to... Firstly, I'm going to extend this in this direction. I'm not going to work with the angle theta because that's really annoying. I'm actually going to work with this angle here and I'm going to call this, doesn't matter what I call it, let's call it alpha. And then we've got this force, which is the one that's annoying. We've got this force here and that needs to be broken into components because then it will, if we break it into horizontal and vertical components, it makes our calculations much easier. So if we break it into, my apologies, if we break it into the horizontal components to the left and the vertical components acting up, and then let's put all these bits together, I can then pull that fast triangle off my diagram and I can analyze this separately. So I know that this is 12, I know this angle here is alpha, I know this is a right angle, very interesting, I got an email about cover teachers. Uh, and then saw opposite, so I know that this vertical component from here upwards to here is worth 12 sine alpha, and I know the horizontal component is 12 cosine alpha. Now before I answer these questions, this is a forces question, so I have to do two things, and two things always. I have to resolve in two perpendicular directions. This time I'm going to resolve to the right. So what's acting to the right is x positively. Acting to the left is this horizontal component, this here, minus 12 cosine alpha. And as it's held in equilibrium, it's equal to 0. Equation 1. Let's look at the vertical components. We've got, acting perfectly upwards, we've got 12 sine alpha is acting vertically vertically down is the 8 newtons and again there's no motion or acceleration in the vertical component it's held in, in the vertical direction it's held in equilibrium it's equal to zero again equation number two therefore now we can go ahead and solve this we can go ahead and solve these uh, questions we've got most of our marks already, or at least half the marks, we can just go ahead and solve. So let's do that. Part A asks us to find the value of theta. Well, let's look at this question. So using two, we get 12 sine alpha is equal to eight, rearranging. So sine alpha is equal to eight over 12, or two thirds. And therefore, we can just do that on our calculator. We can do 12 inverse sine of the answer, and we get alpha is equal to 41.8 degrees. But we want to work out the value of theta. So theta is obviously equal to 180 minus that, which is 130. 8 degrees to 3 significant figures. I worked with this uh, alpha, but really this is the answer I want, so I just have to take my answer from 180. Once I've done that, I've got my answer of theta, things become, or well, I could still work with alpha. Uh, so, work with the alpha value here. All you need to do is substitute back into this equation here. So, using equation 1, we now know the answer of alpha, which we can put in here, so we know that x is equal to 12 cosine alpha, we now know the answer of alpha, we put the full answer in from our calculator, and we find out that x is equal to 8.94 newtons to three significant figures. And there we are, we're done.